Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to create diverging bar chart in Tableau. This type of chart is also known as butterfly chart. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have created a diverging bar chart that is comparing sales done in the year selected by the user with the previous year. Currently this chart is comparing sales done in the year 2017 with the sales done in the previous year which is 2016. From the title, we can figure out that blue color refers to the sales done in the year 2017. So these blue colored bars gives us sales done for different subcategories in the year 2017. And the red color refers to 2016, which is the previous year. So these red colored bars gives us sales done for different subcategories in the year 2016 at the top I have added a parameter which will allow user to select a year so let me select from the drop down 2015 close this parameter so now you will observe that the chart has updated and now it is comparing sales done in the year selected by the user which is 2015 with the sales done in the year 2014 which is the previous year now without wasting any time let's jump to tableau and see how to create a diverging bar chart similar to this one first let's see how many years of data we have in this data set let me drag order date to text so in this data set we have the data starting from 2018 till 2021 the requirement is that we need to compare sales of different subcategories done in the year selected by the user with the sales done in the previous year suppose if the user selected the year 2020 then we want to compare the sales done for different subcategories in the year 2020 with the sales done in the year 2019 for that we will first create a parameter and add all these years in that parameter so what we can do is first we can create a calculated field click on create calculated field and get the years that we have in the data set let me name it year order date and here we will write down year of order date we want this calculated field as a dimension so let's write down here string str open parenthesis and here close parenthesis here we are telling tableau to create this calculated field with string data type click on ok now we will create a parameter so click on the drop down click on create parameter let's name the parameter as year data type would be string click on list now we can add the values from the year order date calculated field that we have created so here add values from year order date this is the calculated field that we have created so automatically all the years are populated here and here click on this drop down when workbook opens and select this year order date benefit of using this calculated field is that suppose tomorrow the data updates and we get sales for the year 2022 then automatically when we will refresh the data set then 
2022 will be added in the parameter. Make sure that here you are selecting the correct calculated field that we have created. Click on OK. So now the year parameter is created. Let me tell you the reason why I have created this year parameter in the form of a string. So click on the drop down, click on create parameter. And here, if I select integer, click on list and here write down 2018. Then the next value will be 2019. And here you will observe that we are getting 1000 separator. So we will have to manually edit these values and remove the 1000 separators. And suppose next day new data gets added for the year 2022. Then we will have to again manually edit these thousand separators. Therefore, I created the parameter in the form of a string. Let's close this create parameter window. Now we will create two separate calculated fields for select year and the previous year sales. Click on the drop down. Click on create calculated field. Let's name it selected year sales. And here we will write down if year order date calculated field that we have created is equal to year parameter, then sales and we have already created a year order date calculated field which is giving us all the years that are present in the data set here we are telling tableau to return sales only for those rows where the year of order date is equal to the year selected by the user using this parameter click on ok now we will create next calculated field for the previous year sales. Click on the drop down, click on create calculated field. Let's name it previous year sales. And here we will write down if year order date calculated field that we have created is equal to year parameter minus one, then sales and here you will observe that we are getting error because both these calculated field and the year parameter are of string data type. So you will notice the error is can't subtract integer value from string value. So let's convert here both these calculated field and the parameter to integer data type. We will write down int open parenthesis and close parenthesis. Now we are not getting any error. So here we are telling Tableau to return sales for those rows where the year of order date is equal to the year selected by the user minus one. Click on OK. Now both the calculated fields are created. Let's create a diverging bar chart to compare selected year sales with the previous year sales. Let me clear this sheet. Drag subcategory to the row shelf. Then drag selected year sales to the column shelf. Also drag previous year sales to the column shelf next to selected year sales. Now we will edit the axis of the selected year sales bar chart, which is the first calculated field that we have added to the column shelf. So right click, click on edit axis, click on reversed. Now close this edit axis window. Let me show the parameter 
click on the drop down click on show parameter so here we have created a diverging bar chart which is comparing sales done in the year 2019 with the previous year sales which is the year 2018 change the fit to entire view turn on the labels by clicking on show marks label button let me arrange these bars in descending order let's change the format of sales to show sales in terms of dollars right click click on format go to pane then from numbers drop down click on currency custom display units will be thousands let's show decimal up to two places and the prefix will be dollar sign similarly we will edit the format of previous year sales make sure pane is selected go to numbers drop down currency custom display units will be thousands and the prefix will be dollar click anywhere outside now what we can do is add these sub category labels in the center between the bars for that write down in the column shelf next to previous year sales average of 0 add this to the center let's remove the axis right click uncheck show header let me remove the grid lines right click click on format go to borders select none for the row divider select none for the column divider go to lines then go to columns select none for the grid lines and also select none for the zero lines let's change the color of the labels similar to what we have for the bars so what we can do is go to label then go to font and here you can select match mark color click on bold then go to previous year sales go to labels go to font click on match mark color and click on bold so now the color of the labels are matching with the color of the bars now to add the sub category labels here we will open this average zero field close this format lines window and drag sub category to label these bars are visible so from the mark type we can select text so now we are able to add these sub category labels in between both the bars so let me remove these header right click and uncheck show header lastly we are not able to figure out which year sales are we comparing here for that we can update the title create two new calculated fields click on the drop down click on create calculated field this will be selected year and here write down the year parameter click on okay now we will create another calculated field for the previous year let's name it previous year and the formula will be year parameter minus 1 so again you will observe that we are getting error can't subtract integer value from string value so many of you must have guessed it that year parameter is of string data type to convert it to integer we can write down int open parenthesis and close parenthesis and we are able to remove the error click on okay we need to convert this previous year in the form of a dimension so from the drop down select convert to dimension make sure all is selected and drag both the previous year and the selected year to detail so first we have added the selected year sales 
field and the second field is previous year sales so let's edit the title title will be selected year versus previous year we can insert both the calculated fields and let's click on bold and center align click on ok so here we can figure out from the title that these bars are giving us sales for the year 2019 and these bars are giving us sales for the year 2018 also we can give different colors to both these bars for that drag measure names to color now the sales in the year 2019 is coming in orange color and the previous year sales which is sales in the year 2018 is coming in blue color if you want you can edit the color as per your preference let me edit the color of this average zero field and select black click on okay so that the labels are coming in black color let me also edit the title let's give orange color to the selected year and blue color to the previous year click on okay now from the title a user can easily figure out that orange color refers to the sales in the year 2019 and the blue color refers to the sales in the year 2018 which is the previous year let me change the parameter and select year 2020 so now the chart has updated and we are comparing the sales done in the year 2020 with the sales done in the year 2019 lastly the tool tips are correctly displayed we can remove the tool tips from this average zero field so go to average zero and from here we can remove the tool tips click on okay so now the tool tips are removed from this sub category labels so in this way we can create a diverging bar chart and compare two different measures in a single chart this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below see you in the next tutorial